Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Isabel. I'm an author, speaker, blogger, and I love to share spiritual teachings with a touch of color. Today I'm sharing some facts of power. You have the power to change the world. Did you know that? Did you know you had the power to change this world? If you incarnated, if you're born in this time of great, great change, that means you have something to contribute. You weren't born to just sit on the couch and watch Netflix or watch football. There's nothing wrong with any of that, but you came to contribute more. And sometimes we tend to forget our own power. We forget our life mission, our life purpose. We forget that we have literally the power to change the world, to impact, to leave a legacy. And so I read this wonderful text by author Caroline Miss. I love Caroline Miss. She's a great spiritual teacher, author. She's published many books. And I had the chance to listen to a talk a conference she gave when she came here to Canada several years ago. And I found a text, a wonderful text, where she lists here invisible facts of power. She says that we all have the ability to change someone's life. She talks about a, uh, a conversation about a truth that this person had learned. As he uh, was driving a cab in New York City, he, um, he was paying the driver. He was in the cab in New York City, he was paying the driver and he said, thank you, sir. As the driver leaped, ran around the back of the cab, opened the door for the passenger and said, you didn't have to do that. To which the driver responded, I wanted to. You are the first person in this country to honor me by calling me sir. And I thank you for that respect. That man, by calling him sir, just saying thank you sir while paying for his cab ride, changed this man's, the cab driver's life, changed his day for the better and showed him a tremendous amount of respect. So. As a result of this story, Caroline Miss created a list for the facts of power. These are facts that you can review when your spirit needs a reminder of the great power you have within to make a difference in the world. Sometimes we need such reminders. So the first fact is that life is a spiritual journey. We are here on the hero's journey. Our soul is in the driver's seat. Sometimes we think that we are just a body having a physical experience. No, we are way beyond that. We are a soul, a big, massive soul in a small container that happens to be a body. And we're going through a journey, the spiritual journey. And no matter where we are on our journey, we have to remember that there are ups and downs because this is this coincides with lessons. Our soul signed up for lessons. Sometimes it hurts, sometimes it's tough, but no matter where you are on the journey, whether you're up, whether you're down, know that there's a lesson there and that it's only Life is a cycle of endings and beginnings, always, and it doesn't matter where you are, the acts of service that you present to the world are going to guarantee that you'll be back on top again soon. Number two, fact number two, your biology and your spirit want to serve. It is impossible for your body to live separate and apart from the journey of your spirit. It is vital for your own vitality and empowerment to seek physical and spiritual health, but also to offer personal acts of power. Increase your attention to your body, especially when you're in need, in need of help or around someone who is reaching out to you. And Whatever you do, respond with prayer. So remember that um, you are here to serve, basically, and also ask your intuition, how should I be serving today? What should I do? Who should I call? And what should I say? This is a prayer from A Course in Miracles. Ask yourself those questions when you get up in the morning. And remember your body, your intuition came here to be of service, very important. And as at the very least, when you hear a call for help, always respond with prayer, prayer to spirit. 
Fact number three, intuition influences every choice you make in life. It really, really um, is important to know that our intuition is always speaking to us. The voice of God, the voice of the universe, no matter what you call that, you are always receiving channeled messages to help you on your journey. Our soul wants expansion. Our soul craves expansion. Our personality is linked to our ego. Sometimes our ego is afraid, but you know deep down what is good for you and your intuition influences every choice you make in life. So learn to listen to that gut. You know that gut feeling. A lot of successful people on this planet are successful because they've learned to listen to that gut feeling. And when they're presented with opportunities they, that might at first glance feel a little off, if they listen to their intuition and it was um, telling them to go for it and they have, they, that's what explains their incredible success. So listen to the voice of spirit, listen to the voice of God that is always murmuring great opportunities for you. And remember the voice of the ego is the one that speaks loudest. So that's the voice of fear or bravado. The voice of spirit is like a soft murmur. It's like an angel whispering in your ear. Listen to that one. Fact number four, your intuition and generosity evolve as your personal power evolves. Generosity is an expression of our spiritual maturity. I will remind you of the very revealing comment one gentleman made to me. I would give my friend money to help him get by in life, but not to pass me by. What we have to learn, which is this man has not yet, is that empowering someone else empowers all of humanity and ourselves at the same time. When we truly understand that, then we will not hesitate to help someone. So um, if we, as we go through the different learning, learning stages of generosity, tribal, personal, intimate, and spiritual, the scale of this ascension is very, very real. So all forms of service to others empower a soul. And if it's, no matter what you're doing, if you're encouraging other people, if you are there to support their growth, their success, you're on the right path. If you are envious, jealous, um, you look with, you give people a side eye when they have great news, then you've got some spiritual work to do. As she said, when you empower someone else, you empower all of humanity. When you lift someone else up, you lift all of humanity up because we are just one. We are all one. So um, remember that and check your jealousy, your envy at the door. That is one of the things we need to work on on the spiritual journey. Very, very important. And there's a very famous quote by John F. Kennedy that I love that says, a rising tide raises all boats. So if you go up, everybody comes up with you. Don't push anybody down. Not good for your karma, not good for your soul. Fact number five, angels and grace are real. Believe in the presence of angels and then the power of grace. Notice and appreciate synchronicity. Keep an open mind that divine forces are at work in everything that happens to you. Woohoo! I love this one. I think it's my favorite one. I really believe in angels. I believe in spirit guides. They speak to me all day. They're pretty funny. I have a very funny group of spirit guides that talk to me through synchronicities, music, lyrics. They send me hilarious messages. Sometimes I have to like, I look up at them and I say, you guys are too much. They make me laugh. They send me images on my social media and sometimes it's pretty, pretty funny. They crack me up. So pay attention because nothing in this universe is random. Listen to the messages you receive, the messages of trucks driving by, if there are words that speak to you, license plates. My spirit guides speak to me on through license plates and it's pretty unbelievable. Number, f number six, you are never alone. If you feel lonely, isolated, just connect through prayer. Remember that you are guided by spirits, a spirit team, and you are connected to God. You are connected to the universe. So through prayer, you will connect to this divine force of good that is there, present every single moment, and you will never ever feel alone. And fact number seven, everything you do matters. 
Everything that you do, that you say, you think and feel matters. We are in a universe that is reflecting who we are at every instant, like a giant boomerang. Everything that you feel, you say, and you do matters. And she lists, she goes on to list a list of personal acts of power. There's more power in the invisible realm than we can ever imagine. The power of love, kind words, kind thoughts, and compassionate response are just a few examples of the energy of grace. So let's give some grace today through holding a door open, smiling, offering a word of encouragement, giving a compliment that costs absolutely nothing and gives so much joy. Listening without interruption, without trying to um, give unsolicited advice, making a call when your intuition tells you to, offering a prayer for a homeless person, praying period, Forgiving others and yourself. We all make mistakes. Forgive others. Forg and when you forgive another, you are always forgiving yourself because we are not perfect and our brothers and sisters are not perfect either. Prepare a meal for a friend. Refrain from judging another person too harshly because when you judge them, you're also judging yourself. Remember that the other is you. It's a very powerful teaching from the five sutras of the Aquarian age. Remember that life is full of miracles and have faith that every difficult situation can change in the blink of an eye. Remember the truth that there is no such thing as a small or insignificant act of service. Keep your power and attention in present time. Don't worry about the future. Don't stay stuck in the past. And begin and end the day in appreciation of either doing or accepting an invisible act of power. Wow, I love that. So thank at the end of the day, just thank yourself or be appreciative of all the acts of power that you received and that you gave during that day. It's going to bring so much joy to your heart, lightness to your heart, and gratitude is the essence of miracles. So I wanted to share this text with you. I hope it's been helpful on your journey. Remember, you are a powerful spirit, a powerful spirit of light, and any act of service, there's no such thing as a small or insignificant act of service. So get out there and share your light with the world. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Until next time for another video.